What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the Weekly Hype, episode one. It's 2023, January 5th to be exact. Happy 2023. I hope your year goes great. That's my wish from me to you. My name is Lance. It's a pleasure being here. We got new music. We got some new uh, new tracks to share with you guys. Uh, some brand new stuff uh, that has been submitted this week. Very excited to share it with you. If you're listening to us on our Twitch, hello, hello. Uh, if you want to watch the Twitch behind the scenes uh, stuff, you can see me, you can chat with me. Uh, that is on our Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash get hyped twitch. Get hyped twitch. Uh, you can watch the replay of our Twitch every week uh, in the evening on the same day uh, on Thursday evenings. Uh, at our YouTube, which is Get Hyped YouTube. If you're listening on the radio on uh, Keeping It Radio, you can listen on PlayKIR.com. You can download the app on the Play Store or download the app on Google Play. Wherever you listen to your apps, just search Keeping It Radio. Or you can listen to the radio replay Saturday nights on Keeping It Radio. Or you can listen to it in podcast form from the great folks over at iHeartRadio. Thanks to them for picking us up. Thanks to you for listening. Thanks to the bands for submitting. Let's jump right into it right now. Brand new stuff. The band is called Bad Year. They just dropped their album over on Punkerton Records, a buddy of mine. Uh, This song is called Oh Virginia, I'm So Sorry, here on The Weekly Hype. Virginia ran away, voices in. go bad year oh virginia i'm so sorry that's a good track i like that one uh you'll be hearing more of that too also if you would like to request uh that 
track. That track is now uh, going to be part of our um, 24 hours, uh, seven days a week live stream. So feel free to uh, hop in there and uh, check it out. Uh, you can request it uh, if you go to playkr.com or on the app, you can request it. So uh, if you like any of these songs, man, give them a request. Uh, in the third hour of the show, over on the radio side of things, uh, we're going to be counting down the top 10 songs every week. Um, last year, we were doing that on uh, both the show and on the radio side and on the Twitch side. Uh, this year, oh, yeah, hey, the notification worked. I'm glad. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, last week, for some reason, no one got notified of the, the Twitch stream. This week, uh, we're good, though. Uh, so, but yeah, so the Twitch stream is going to go, uh, for about an hour and a half and then we're going to do the countdown this year, radio specific. It's kind of not the same songs every week, but it's kind of similar every week. And we thought it'd be more fun just to make it uh, radio exclusive. So if you're still having fun and hanging out and you want to listen to the top 10 countdown, all you got to do is just hop off of uh, Twitch and hop on to uh, playkir.com and you can listen to it. Uh, brand new stuff right now for my buds in Messmaker. Uh, I can't say enough nice things about them. And I think you guys agree. I think their song was number one on the uh, top 10 countdown two weeks ago. Uh, I took a peek. I know it's on there. I think it might be number one this year, this week as well. I don't want to spoil anything. I didn't get a great look, but I know it's on there. Um, and their uh, their song uh, was also uh, number two of my favorite songs of last year on our big countdown. If you haven't heard our countdown, by the way, I did a top 30 songs that I played this last year uh, on the station. We have that available now uh, over on YouTube or uh, on iHeartRadio. Uh, it was our final uh, The Weekly Riot before we changed into The Weekly Hype. And uh, yeah, they came in second. I loved, uh, I still love their song. Um, but uh, they got new stuff out now. So it's time to stop playing We Are The Architects. And it's time to listen to Paying Attention by Messmaker.
in the oh, tension. Oh, boy, what a good song, man. Ah, they never let you down, do they? Uh, Messmaker, paying attention. Uh, if you're into that and you are in the Ohio area, uh, next weekend, my, my band, Darling Waste, is playing a show with them. Uh, we, Darling Waste, my band, has been turning down shows left and right. I turned down three shows yesterday. Um, we're just not going to be playing shows this year, really. Um, we're not going to be... It's not going to be dramatic. We're not, like, breaking up. Uh, they were over yesterday. We were supposed to have a band practice yesterday, but instead we uh, discussed our favorite uh, season of TV shows and what the best season of, of TV would be. So that's kind of where we're at in life. We're not in love with playing music right now uh, so much as we are just enjoying uh hanging out and, and being friends so uh, i don't think we're gonna play as much this year uh i am gonna put out some songs uh this year uh, this is our 20th anniversary as well so we're definitely gonna do some cool stuff but i don't think we're gonna be playing as much um all of that is a long-winded way of telling you this is one of our final shows uh probably for the year uh, at least for uh spring and summer uh but anyway january 14th canton ohio mcalpine meadery it's us, and it's Messmaker, and it's Stay Gone. It's free. It's at 8 p.m. It's going to be a great show. And then uh, January 27th, uh, my band, Darling Waste, will be in Morgantown, West Virginia, at Art Bar. Uh, it's going to be like a reunion of a 2000, I don't know, like seven show or something? Eight? Uh, six? Uh, we're playing with Across the Dawn and Dearborn, uh, two bands that we played with way back in the day. Uh, it's really going to feel like a, uh, like a nice reunion show. I'm excited for it. Uh, let's get back into the music, though. This is brand new stuff. This is La Ciate. Uh, this is the vocalist of Lives Lost, who I'm a big fan of. Uh, this is their brand new one. They're a little bit heavier uh, than uh, than Lives Lost. Uh, this is IED here on the Weekly Hype. I stuck inside of-
on the inside. There you go, La Ciate, I-E-D. That song is cool. While I was uh, while I was listening to that, I got a little push notification, uh, which is so cool and so cute. Um, I'll hold it up for the camera. Uh, oh. Oh my gosh, uh, Michael McFarland, who is the singer of Messmaker, said that he discovered that Tannis from Lives Lost and he has the same vocal coach. Man, I should get a vocal coach. It's Phil Freeman from Small Town Titans. So shout out to Phil. Uh, shout out to Tannis from Lives Lost. Shout out to Mike. Um, man, I, I've always wanted a vocal coach, but I've always been afraid of that. Uh, I don't have a voice, like a, you know, a real human's voice that sounds like a singing voice. Uh, so I've just kind of been like, well, I yelp. And that's just kind of what happens. I just feel like they would just laugh at me if I went to a, a vocal coach. But anyway, uh, if you're on the app, you, or on the, the Twitch, I don't know if it's going to wash out. You're going to go see it. No, nope. all right, it's washing out. But anyway, uh, it says, uh, keep it radio. Give me a little push thing. It says, with the new year comes a new name. Tune in for the weekly hype right now until 3 p.m. New music, the top 10 countdown, and so much more. Don't miss it. It's really cool. Those guys are awesome. So uh, make sure you download that app uh, at uh, on the Play Store or on uh, Google Play. Is that what the, is that what iPhone people call the iStore now, or the uh, the I used to call it what it was it used to be just iTunes, right? Uh, I think it's called the App Store. So grab it on the App Store or Google Play or the Play Store or whatever you guys call your app stores right now. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, you might hear some rumbling in the background here. Uh, if you've been a fan of the show or a begrudging listener of the show for any amount of time, uh, you know that our house is consistently under construction. My office is uh, in the basement of my house because leaving the house is not something I enjoy doing. Um, we are having a kitchen put in and uh, our master bath is uh, being renovated and also uh, our uh, furnace died, and uh, they're—I think that's what they're doing today—is putting a furnace in. So you might hear some rumbling and, and grumbling and, and growling in the background, and uh, that's—I uh, bel- I think a furnace getting put in. Uh, let's keep the music rolling right now. This is uh, brand new stuff from Fair Shake. Um, I actually just played Fair Shake a little bit earlier. Uh, that their song "Value" was one of my top songs of the year. I think in the top five, um, but. They got brand new stuff as well. Brand new year. Everyone's dropping new music. I'm excited to see it. This one is called Face by Fair Shake. Put me on a shelf like you're the one who's hurting. You've been planning your revenge on the way I pack my bags and left. I made peace with that.
and I love Fair Shake. I'm just going to put this into the universe. I know I, I know I keep saying that I'm going to stop doing Darling Waste, and I'm not going to, like, stop, stop. I'm just not going to do it as much again. We, we had our little reunion, right? Like, we, we broke up in 2017. We got back together in 2021 at the very end, played a couple of reunion shows, and then we were active for most of 2022, and it's a lot, you know? Like, we're all adults. We all got careers, jobs, kids, that kind of stuff, so... And other, and honestly, and other shit we want to do, right? Like uh, our bass player Anthony is in—he's uh, a singer-songwriter himself, and we all play in a band called Pretty Pretty Awful. Uh, you know, we're getting show offers for Pretty Pretty Awful as well, quite a bit, and that's a lot of fun, you know. And so we're trying to keep like two bands going full time while doing everything else. And you know, and honestly, we play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons, man. We play Dungeons and Dragons four hours a week on Friday nights. Uh, so you know, there's just stuff we want to do. Um, but anyway, if I could put this out into the universe, if we could just do a little mini tour sometime at the end of August, maybe early September, with Messmaker and Fair Shake, and I believe Fair Shake is from this area. I could be wrong, but I feel like Fair Shake is like from Canton or something. I would really, really like that. I think that would be a very cool uh, tour. I love those bands so much. Just putting that out there into the universe. Uh, you know, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, all right, we're going to keep the new song train a rolling. We got, I think, two more uh, debuts this week. The goal is to do about five or six a week um, all through the year, you know, because if, if we do, say, I don't know, 52 weeks a year we're not gonna get off 52 that we're doing new shows but say we do 40 right and then we do five songs a, a a week at least you know that's 200 but you know and if we can get up to 50 shows it's like 250 brand new songs this year we can we can play that's the goal i want to play a bunch of new music this year so fifth new song of the week uh this is by telling secrets this song is called fragile I put the life full of branches I strangled my demons dead. You were the only witness So tell me wishes I crave the power I want the fame Tell me this money is mine to take In the third I will Sign my soul I won't tell you any lies But I'll be worse sometimes You're not strong enough for the truth
Diego telling secrets, telling secrets with fragile. I like that song. That's really good. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Uh, give me one second here. Sorry, this is good radio. I'm googling. This is me googling on the radio. Um, if I hum, it'll make it here. I'll put on background music. This is my Google Music right here for us. Um. Uh, Oh, yeah, Fair Shakes. I think they're in Atlanta, Georgia, actually. I was incorrect. I'm actually thinking of Between the Echoes, who I'm about to play right now. I think Between the Echoes are local to me. I don't know why I confuse those two bands. They're not that much that similar. Uh, but for some reason, I confuse them quite a bit. Let's see, do they have a hometown? Man, put your hometowns on your bios, people. I'm claiming Between the Echoes is from here. Uh, I have no proof of that uh, off of a, a quick, brief look, but I believe they are. So anyway, here's uh, the latest from Between the Echoes. Uh, this whole album is great, by the way. The whole album's out now. Uh, they're just kind of releasing singles as they go off the album. Uh, check out their whole album if you're into this. This is like, I think, their fifth single off this thing. This song is called Alpha Tidal Waves here on the Weekly Hype. go between the echoes alpha tidal waves i'm a big fan of that whole record man make sure you check that out speaking of checking it out uh so the last six songs we played uh were all uh brand new to the station uh we played bad year Messmaker, la Ciate, fair shake telling secrets and between the echoes all all uh premieres here on the station uh, if you would like to check them all out right now, um, they're also all on my playlist over on Spotify. If you head over to Spotify and uh, look up uh, Get Hyped, um, or alternatively, uh, we have a, uh, that's the name of us, and that's the name of the new playlist. 
Uh, new playlist for a new year. It's just called Get Hyped by Get Hyped. You can just type it in. Uh, Get Hyped with an exclamation point. Uh, and it has all of those songs on it. Uh, everything I just played uh, in order uh, will be on there. And there's only uh, s- uh, seven songs on there right now. Uh, also, if you're uh, on our Twitch or watching this on the YouTube replay, I'm going to drop the uh, link right in there. There's the link uh, on Twitch in the chat if you want to. Uh, give us a follow, man. Um, it, it really means the world. We're closing in on... Uh, Five and a half thousand. We got five thousand four hundred seventy-one. I'd love to make that five thousand five hundred soon. Uh, so, thanks to everyone who is following along over there. We really appreciate it. Uh, all right. Just a reminder: if you would like to request a song here on the station, there's a couple ways to do it. Uh, you can send it to me. Uh, my email address is gethypedemail at gmail.com. Gethypedemail at gmail.com. Or you can send it into the station as well. Uh, and uh, we will uh, get it added on, get it onto our 24-7 live stream as well. And, uh, yeah, let's get back to the music. Coming up later, uh, we have a live uh, in-studio performance of Troubadour Davis, who uh, is from uh, Cape Cod. And we talk about, uh, you know, lobster men and boat men and uh, seafood and stuff, because that's what you do when you have someone from Cape Cod. You ask them questions about about seafood Uh, we got a request uh, which is what reminded me to tell you about requests Uh, we got a request for Low Spirit Uh, it's the only cover that we play here uh, at least that I play on my on my show I'm not a big cover fan kind of kind of guy but uh, Low Spirit covered uh, running up that hill and they just knocked it out of the park so here is Low Spirit by request running up that hill just kidding it went away Hold on. I have like nine versions of this song on here. It keeps... Here, let me... I thought I deleted all the ones that were messed up. Hold, please. Let's try that. Nope. All right. They're not going to play. We're going to do Fire by Night. I'll I'll get Low Spirit back up here in a second. Give me one second. We'll do Fire by Night, Ghost, and then we'll do the request. This is Fire by Night with Ghost.
go fire by night ghost let's try her up that hill again no it ain't happening all right motion year disarray Check out this song I recorded at Studio 44. Why don't you just record on your laptop at home? I wanted to take my sound to the next level. The studio was laid back but professional, and the final sound quality is amazing. All right, I'm listening. What's the setup like? The owner, Jay, can track multiple instruments and help me a lot through the process. I gave him some ideas, and he was all like... And then I was like, hey, let's try this. And he was like... And then I had trouble finding the right note, and he was like... The whole thing came together in no time. Came together in no time. Wow, that's the best stuff I've heard. I gotta check this place out. Check it out. It's great for up and coming artists and bands trying to discover their sound. Studio 44 also does voiceover work, guitar and drum lessons, video recording, and much more. Hit up Jay at Studio 44 CLE for your next project. That's at Studio 44 CLE. 
Small Circles Media is a one-stop shop for all your needs as a growing artist or band with affordable packages for music videos, audio recording, press photo shoots, and podcast space rentals. For more information, please find us on social media by looking up All Circles Media or visiting allcirclesmedia.com. It's your boy, Master Puff. It was great talking to you. Now let's get back to the action. Thank you, Master Puff. Time for some clear fight. There go, clear fight. Time for some big pop coming down.
All right, so I have renamed the MP3 file not running up that hill. So we're going to see if we can trick, trick the computer into playing it. Let's see what happens. Does it hurt me? Yes. So it's the encoding it hates. It's the names. Okay, so we have the song. I just changed the title from running up that hill to not running up that hill, and it'll play it. So it's something about the name that's making it not work. So anyway, here is not running up that hill, uh, and we'll, we'll see if it plays. It doesn't hurt me. Do you want to feel how it feels? Do you want to know, know that it doesn't hurt me? doesn't hurt me do you want to hear about the deal that i made with god Hey, we got it. We got it. That was Low Spirit uh, running up that hill uh, cover by request. However, uh, it is not running up that hill if you ask my computer because my computer will not play running up that hill. So we just put the word not in front of it and that somehow worked. So there you go. That is not running up that hill. Uh, the Low Spirit cover. I wonder because Low has like a the O has like a cross through it. I wonder if that's breaking it somehow. I don't know. Anyway, we solved the problem. Until next week. Just tune in next week. We'll try to play it again. See what's going on. Uh, okay, so hey, welcome. Uh, this is our first uh, uh, show of the year. This is our first show as uh, the Weekly Hype. It's a pleasure having you. My name is Lance, uh, in case you don't know, if you're just joining us. Uh, so what we normally do is we do uh, finally, yeah, I know, right? Finally got it played. Everyone really needed to hear it. And it kind of, it's like, 
sometimes sorry i'm talking to chat uh sometimes i am uh i'll be telling a story to my wife or something and, and my kid will interrupt and then when it's time to talk the story again i realize the story isn't worth telling right and i'm not mad or anything i'm like oh no that you know now we're building it up there's too much hype for you know whatever dumb thing i was about to tell you um and i feel like that's kind of how that was too like the song is good but i don't know if it's worth the build up that it takes us to play it every week uh but yeah we'll try it again next week uh so if you're if you're if you're new here what we normally do here in the second hour is we play a live interview that i've done um and then uh in the third hour we go to uh our top 10 uh we are uh, <laughs> it is it joy is in the adventure uh it's the friends we made along the way while trying to play uh that cover of that 80s song from that one tv show that everyone liked um in the third hour uh we do a top 10 countdown so uh we're no longer gonna have the top 10 countdown on our uh on our Twitch stream anymore and uh, on the YouTube replay. It just gets a little monotonous. Um, and we want to have something special, right, for the radio people. Uh, so after uh, after the uh, interview today, we'll say goodbye. Uh, I'm still not sure if we're going to cut before or after the interview. I think what we're going to do, if the interview is a replay, we'll cut it. And if it's a new interview, we'll leave it on. That way, you know, Twitch and YouTube at least get the interview once. Uh, the radio, we tend to do replays of interviews because uh, I don't have an interview every week. Uh, so I think that's what we're going to do. So a couple more minutes. Uh, we're going to do two more songs, then we're going we're gonna to jump into our interview. Uh, this week's interview with the Troubadour Davis. It's very exciting. Uh, he, he's awesome. And he plays a gigantic old-timey kazoo. You don't want to miss that. Uh, but in the meantime, here is Wes Hoffman and Friends with Winter.
All right, there you go. What's happening, friends? Winter. Hey, we got a lot of new, new, new for the new, new year here at uh, Keep It At Radio. There's a new look on our app, easier than ever to tune in as you uh, as the tune-in button now takes you straight to the live stream. And the podcasts have moved back to the podcast playback section. Makes everything easier to find and navigate. So make sure you grab the new app. Just search Keeping It Radio on your app store. They announced some new shows over at Keeping It Radio as well. Steel City Chronicles, the center, uh, center stage's Brook. Uh, Takes the helm of this new show, focused on all things Pittsburgh, uh, coming in late March. Uh, The Beautiful Ghost Show with David J. Featuring a deep dive not only into the lyrics and inspiration of the Beautiful Ghost songs, but also into the music that has impacted his life. From classics to new underground tracks coming this February. And then What's Your Creep Factor? A podcast that will go hand in hand with their ghost hunting in Cemetery Mysteries in Ohio. Uh, That's also expected in March. As well as the return of the Center Stage, our flagship show, uh, next week as they start on their new time slot, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Thursdays. So, lots going on. You can catch me every Thursday here uh, at noon Eastern. Noon to 3 on the radio. Noon to, I don't know, 2 probably uh, on uh, Twitch. And then uh, my uh, other show on Twitch uh, starts next Wednesday, Office Hours uh, is what it's called. It's called Office Hours, and it's uh, Wednesdays at noon. And basically, I get a couple hundred uh, tracks submitted to me every week for our Spotify playlists. I'm going to be listening to some of them, uh, doing live reactions, talking about the music, putting them onto podcasts or onto playlists. And if that's boring, I'll probably also be playing video games, Uh, probably I don't know. I'm horrible at video games. I like to play them. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Madden. I moved uh, a team, a football team, uh, with uh, the racist name over to London. uh, And I got only fast guys. And we're just the fastest team ever. We just run around. So maybe I'll play some Madden. Uh, I also like to play um, my kid's dragon game, whatever that's called. You know, uh, Spyro. So maybe I'll play some Spyro. Uh... Maybe I'll wander the wasteland in Fallout 4 or 3. Maybe I'll uh, do some rootin' tootin' cowboy shooting with Red Dead Redemption 2. You guys let me know, too. If there's something you want to see me play, just know I'm awful at all of them. Uh, but yeah, we'll play some video games. We'll uh, do live music reacts. Uh, I'm not trying to flame anybody, so if the song isn't good, I'm not going to put it up on the screen. But if the song is good, then we'll share it. I'll let you know uh, the name of the artist, and I'll let you know what playlist it's on. Uh, so you can discover new music with me. And if it's really good, we'll play it on this show uh, the following week. So that's every Wednesday at noon over on our Twitch. Uh, please give us a follow on Twitch. It is uh, twitch.tv slash uh, get hyped t- uh, Twitch. Get hyped Twitch. All right. We got uh, two more songs. Then we're going to do some Troubadour Davis interview. This is Lives Lost, Letting Go of Ghosts.
There you go. Lives Lost, Letting Go of Ghosts. Coming up next, we have uh, right for the next song, Trubo Davis interview. Stick around for that. If you haven't yet, please subscribe uh, to the uh, Get Hyped YouTube, which is at Get Hyped YouTube, youtube.com slash at Get Hyped YouTube. And stay up to date with uh, all of our things we got going on at Get Hyped uh, at our Instagram, which is just uh, Get Hyped Insta. Insta. Get Hyped Insta. Instagram.com slash Get Hyped Insta. Uh, so we're going to hop right now into um, uh, Half Dizzy's Broken Down. And as soon as Half Dizzy is done, we're going to go right into the Troubadour Davis interview. It's about 20 minutes long. After that interview, we will uh, bounce off of Twitch. So thank you to all of our Twitch people. You can please stick around, give the interview a listen. Um, and then after that, if you want to keep up with us, head on over uh, to uh, the radio station. You can grab the app at Keeping It Radio or just play KIR.com. And we'll see you over there uh, on the flip side. If you're not coming with us, uh, please have a great day. Please have a great week. Uh, please take care of yourself. Uh, give yourself some time uh, to relax and enjoy yourself. And don't be too hard on yourself, you know? You're doing the best you can. Don't compete with anybody. Just try to be the best version of yourself you can be. And know that you're loved. All right, guys, we're going to head into uh, Half Dizzy. And then after that, we got the interview. I will see you on the other side. Have a great day. If you're on Twitch, uh, we'll see you soon. But why not come join us on the radio for the final hour for our countdown? I think you should. I think it's a good idea. Have a good one, guys. Live now uh, here in the studio, we got Troubadour Davis. How's it going? It's going well. Thanks so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having us, Lance. Now, you're in the middle of a tour right now. Is that correct? Yes, my very first tour. Oh, is it your first tour? It's I was going right. to ask that. Yeah. That's super exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. What night is this? Fifth? Sixth? So oh. you started, did you start up in Massachusetts? That's where you're from, right? That's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And you're from the Cape Cod area? Cape Cod, yeah. Does anybody know anything about Cape Cod aside from there's whales there? Is there anything no. else that I should know about seafood. Cape Cod? Seafood. Seafood. Okay, so Overpriced like... Overpriced real estate. Is it is it New England clam chowder? Is that what's... The, yeah. The, like, yeah. Lo is it lobster rolls? Is that lobster rolls, you get your lobster and whatever else, yeah. <laughs> How crazy. Now, do you know, being from Cape Cod, do you, like, know people who are, like, lobster men or whatever, like, boat people? Well, as a is day job, I actually, like drive a truck to a pier to pick up oh, lobsters shit. from the boat like right that's, there is there that's, so that's literally what there is that's like that's, that's the industry there that's the industry there yeah oh, exactly cool. yeah. so you you as a day job transport live lobsters from the is it a bay 
Is that from a bay? pier? From a pier. From yeah. From yeah. I, was, I, I I would call it a bay. But. In in the Atlantic. Yes. Straight to. Straight to our establishment, and then straight to the plate. How? It's crazy. also it also is a oyster farm. So. Wow. So are you a seafood person? Do you have to be I, being from there? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, pretty much. I yeah. would say yeah. That's awesome, man. I had uh, lobster risotto for the first time. I was out in Vegas for that uh, when we were young fest. Oh, yeah, that Vegas seafood. Yeah, <laughs> right? Cause yeah. So, I was scared because it was like landlocked. And I'm yeah, like, oh, I don't, I don't know, know if that's that. going to work. So we went to Hell's Kitchen, and I'm like, I got to try the lobster risotto. And it was it was delicious. It's one of the first times I've had, I think, real lobster. I always get, like, lobster that's probably not lobster, you know? You know, like a crab, yeah. it's not crab. Yeah, the imitation crab yeah. stuff. Yeah, which is still, I don't know. I it's think, protein. I think it's good, right? It is. I like it so, in a sandwich or something. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna start talking about seafood. <laughs> uh, so, where all have you been now? Before you got to to here, yeah, I know you were it's Pittsburgh last night. Yeah, we we did Pitts last night, and oh my god, it's so fun. Uh, before that, we did Philly, and uh, congratulations before, on not getting stabbed on the way out of Philly. So in Worcester, I almost got stabbed. Really? Yeah, I got oh real close to getting stabbed. That was like our first like. Uh, show other than uh, we did one on Cape, which was, uh-huh. was quite fun. Um, but yeah, yeah, R- Worcester. It was a great, great crowd. But yeah, I uh, almost got stabbed that night. That's scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just being too friendly with somebody who wasn't feeling too friendly. I feel and you. Uh, yeah, I was like, ooh, yikes! I misread this. Yeah, uh, Newark, New Jersey, and uh, Philly are always the towns where I'm like, and then I got almost stabbed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I got through. Uh, you guys are playing Detroit tonight. I got thrown down a yep. flight of steps once in Detroit. So, <laughs> oh, yikes. hopefully, it goes better for you. But the last several times I've been in Detroit, it's been fine. But cool. Uh, so that's exciting. So you're playing in Detroit tonight, and yeah. then are you just heading straight west, ooh, or is uh, it around? Yeah. So we're we're doing Chi Town after. That's exciting. Yeah, Chicago's a great city. Yeah, that's fun. How far how far west are you going? Do you know? Is it turning around there or is it? Saint, we're doing St. Louis uh, after. That's Chicago. the that's the gateway to the west. And we're doing Nashville. Okay, so then back down to Nashville. Yeah, okay, yeah, very cool. Yeah. That that'll be a lot of fun. It's been a blur, honestly. Like. <laughs> Is it kind of what you thought touring would be? Is it harder? I don't is know. it more I, fun, I less I, fun? I, I'm having a ball, yeah. but I didn't have much expectation. I just like wanted to uh, get out here. Justin was kind enough to set it up and bring me along, and um, I just wanted to enjoy it for what it was, you know? So Absolutely. Very, very cool. Uh, you, got, you got some songs for us today. I do. Off right. my uh, new record, it came out like a month and a half ago. And that's my my debut studio album, so... Okay, this song's called Death Rattle. It's the first track off my uh, uh, self-titled album.
Very, very cool. How would you describe your music yeah, um, to someone who, who had to ask? Uh, I would say folky. Uh, I try to, I, I focus heavily on like imagery. Um, for me, like music is just a great coping mechanism and like I, I work uh, a lot of feelings out through songwriting. So um, depending, I, I, I think I ch change genre kind of song to song sometimes, but the, the premise is always kind of folk and... Um, uh, it's always just it's it's very healing for me to songwrite. So, um, but as far as far as um, influences go, um, I love I love like old um, Americana. Like I love Pete Seeger and um, and stuff like that. Like the Kasoy Sisters. If you ever heard of them, I love the Kasoy. It's like my my favorite. I I just throw that on and listen to it all day. And um, beyond that, like Elliot Smith is a huge inspiration. Um, the record actually was recorded at Jackpot in Portland, Oregon, where uh, it was Elliot's uh, studio back in the day. Uh, a friend of mine got a job there and uh, offered to record it there, and I was like, yeah, Oh, my gosh, so. you just flew out there to, to Oregon? And uh, my girlfriend and I took my crappy car, and we just camped across country. No way. It was, it was a quite the adventure, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, How, that's literally the opposite corner of the country. Yeah, we just that's, went from one... You couldn't get any further across <laughs> yeah, the country. Exactly. Cape Cod to uh, Portland, Oregon. So. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Wow. How, how long were you in Portland? I love Portland. I do, too. Um, so, I intend to move there. Um, yeah? Uh, yeah, next year. But I was there uh, maybe like three weeks and uh, fell in love with the city. Yeah, it's a, it's a great great spot. Right. I, Lovely I, people, very friendly in my in my experience. Yeah, yeah. I, and, and it was funny because I was thinking about moving to Portland, and then I decided it's just way too far away from home. Sure. But then I moved to England, so yeah. kind of threw that out the window anyway. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, I, man, yeah, Portland is great. All the way across the country yeah. and back. Uh, so I played a couple of shows there, but like, it wasn't like an established tour. Right. Yeah. Very very cool. Uh, Got another song for me? I do. I do. Right. Um, I will. I will say that most most of these songs I I recorded for the studio, and I've been <laughs> figuring out ways to fill them out um, for for like live performances. So uh, on this next song, I have this this brilliant uh, trombone player on the on the track, but obviously he's not here with me today. So I got this like kazoo that I got on Amazon, nice. and uh, that will suffice for the. Uh, Trombone licks. Amazing. I love licks. it. Uh, yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, and, are you, and you're playing it on like a harmonica. Yeah. I was like, I don't know how you're going to pull this yeah. off. I thought you were going to just oh, try to like wait. <laughs> just toss it in your mouth real yeah. quick. Yeah, just hold oh, it. Oh, so for, for, okay, so for people who can't see, this is not just a kazoo. This is like uh, a steampunk 1890s kazoo. That's <laughs> right, is, yeah. I was like, that this is like cool. an, an ooga horn uh, <laughs> attached to a uh, uh, one of those neck harmonica things.
the goddamn years go That went by in a week Last weekend, last year They feel so far from me Days blurring past me I'll pass with a whiplash And the saving grace Is the current day Oh man, that was so cool. I really Thank liked you. that. That's very, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm excited for you to go to Nashville and play that. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, hopefully they'll like it. Actually, speaking of Nashville, um, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Gems on VHS at all. No. No. So they're they're uh, outfit out of Nashville, and uh, they they promote and uh, put on like lovely artists, like you know, folky Americana stuff. And they they had me on um, one of their monthly play, uh, playlists on Spotify, and that meant the world. So oh, that's awesome. Thank it's, you. And it's Gems on VHS. Gems on VHS. That, that definitely. That check actually, out. that does ring a bell. Oh, it's so sick. If you haven't seen it, it's like yeah, really cool stuff that they put on. Aside from like Chicago and Nashville, are there any cities you're you're excited to hit on this tour, or any places? I mean, so far, every city I've gone to, I was like, oh my god, this is sick. I need to come back. I'm gonna move here. That's but, awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just excited to go anywhere. Um, uh, nothing in particular. Um, Detroit's gonna be cool. I've never even been close to Detroit. So. Yeah, Detroit gets a bad rap. It's a, it's a cool. Yeah, city. it's a cool city. So how did you? Uh, how did the Troubadour Davis name come up? Troubadour Davis. So when I was in high school, I would always carry around a guitar. It was kind of like my my type safety blanket. Like I just felt more comfortable with an instrument. So uh, my my uh, principal at the time, this lovely man. Uh, Mr. Morrison, uh, he would, every time he saw me, he'd be, Troubadour! And he'd call me <laughs> Troubadour, and I was like, you know, that's a cool word. And um, I, um, you know, to, I just I just thought that was really cool, and I, I looked up to him a lot, so I stuck with that. That's very cool, and it does, um, it's, it is evocative of a different time, and it, feel, it feels at home with the music that you make, I think, too. I, you thank know? you. Yeah. So I mean, we're, we're real troubadours right now. We're traveling, we're absolutely. making music. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, because you guys, when you pulled up, I mean, you, you are driving a car yeah. and living out of it that's and it. the gears in the back and yeah. yeah i mean that's why i kind of stick to folk it's just it's just easy yeah you gotta respect you it, know man. you know you got a backpack full of merch and some some a guitar, guitar and uh, yeah. yeah it's that's a, that's the way to go yeah. uh do you got one more for us i do i do i want to try a song i haven't played for a while um because Justin and i were talking about it in the car he's never heard it um i wrote this song for a, a dear friend of mine althea it was her birthday the other day um, and uh, yeah, this is called Lovely Althea. God had a major lack of angels in the sky. A lit light bulb hovered over his head when he saw you on the turnpike. I had a major crush on you when I was still young I picked you up in my arms but I was too weak And we both fell down and in your eyes There was love always You defended me and you got yourself a black eye I was so red handed those cuffs were too damn tight you saw the good in me when I was stomping on thin ice You were one of a different walk of life I wish I could talk to you one more time Althea, you're an angel now Althea, you watch down from the clouds Lovely Wasn't long enough Though your time on earth Countless lives were touched You will live on In the hearts and minds Of people that you love Thank you 
for the memories You will always be a part of me You will always have a place in my heart Rest easy, Althea That was very beautiful. Good job. I really like that a lot. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous song. Thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. You have a wonderful voice, wonderful songwriter. Thank you very uh, much. I'm excited to dive into your catalog as well. Please I, uh, do. I, I'm new to it, and I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about yeah, it. Yeah, the album's out. Um, I'm, I'm super psyched about it. I worked so hard. Poured good amount of money into it. I'm just, I'm just trying to do the thing, you know? Absolutely. No, that's, and that's, that's important. That's, you, you know, uh, a lot of people... When my band was touring full time, we used to tour seven months out of the year. We did it for almost, I think, about seven, eight straight years. And everyone would always say, "Oh, you guys are so lucky." It's like, no, we're not lucky. We're just fucking doing it. Yeah, <laughs> like, we I mean, all quit our jobs and got in a van, and we're not going to stop now. That's, like, that's exactly what uh, Justin showing me. Justin showing me the ropes, and uh, I'm really grateful to Justin and. Uh, to yeah, check out their stuff as just well. Just no way to do it except for to do it. You know, yeah, you gotta exactly, just actually yeah. go do it and then yep. you're doing it. Then then you are. And you know, and there is there's that imposter syndrome that sets in, but you know, if you're doing it, then that's who you are. You're exactly. a national touring act because you're touring the nation and you're that's who you are. Got you know? right. Uh it's it's very, very cool. Where can people find you online? Um, so Troubadour Davis everywhere. Um if you know how to spell it or just Google <laughs> the spelling. Um yeah, uh, my my new records on all platforms, uh, Spotify and what have you. Um, my Instagram handle is Troubadour Davis. My my YouTube's Troubadour Davis. So, awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Lance. All right. So once again, that was Troubadour Davis. Check him out everywhere. Uh, just type in Troubadour Davis into Google. You'll find him. And uh, thanks so much. And. Uh